wild, man, wild. We got uh, three poles set up. This wind is crazy, the riptide's coming in. Oh, we got a fish on. I think we got one on. It's absolutely insane. The wind is like almost 15, 20 miles per hour. It's kind of why I bring this flag out here. That's my face. <laughs> I've already caught one whiting. Let's keep it going. There we go. We got we got something decent on. All right. Another decent sized whiting. All right. This what we are looking for. Decent keeper size. It's a monster. We're going to get it measured up too, but we're keeping this guy. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that guy. Sand came out easy flea with a uh, orange beak. There you go. All right, the water is about four out of ten clear. I give it a four out of ten. It's almost all the way in. Um, it's starting to, it'll, it'll clear up even better to about five or six. It's a good day, it's really windy. I'm sorry about all this uh, wind noise, but it's a good day. We're having fun. Heck yeah, you know what I mean? Good stuff. Caught this guy on a fresh piece of uh, shrimp. Hey guys, we're here in Volato Beach, Surfside Park. We got the feather of the seabird, so. We hope, we hope that works out. For those of you who don't know, the feather of the seabird. It's a lucky feather from the movie Dumbo. I take one from the seabird. Um, if we see any rods bending, thank you, yeah. Right. Oh, target species today is the Florida Pompano. We're going for uh, 11 inches to the fork is what you're allowed to keep in the state of Florida. So 11 inches to the fork, that's the tail part, the tail to the head. Reeling in another decent, decent size. This wind is blowing like crazy. Decent size whiting here. Excellent. Unfortunately, there's not very many pompano to report. I'm not even catching babies. But uh, the whiting bite is on fire and we're just crushing the whiting. So we're gonna have a great dinner tonight. I'm gonna keep these baits out here longer. We just approached extreme high tide. So they might be chilling out for a minute. We're gonna keep going. This is our first pompano of the day. It is a little baby, but we definitely got our target piece. <laughs> All right, we're gonna make whiting nuggets. And I saw somebody do this. We're gonna see how fast I can flay this fish. My camera buddy. All right, set, go. Are you mark, set, go. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Can I go back to my game now? Hold on. You gotta do the video. All right. Boom. That's one side. Did you turn it off? Okay. Is it still going? Uh huh. Oh, we're, we're slowing down. It's seven, eight, nine. Zero. I don't want to talk about it. All right, flip it over. All right, you still going? Can you see me? Can you see it? Uh-huh. Were, were you blocking the camera the whole time? Not the whole time. Why were you blocking it at all? To be funny. Pressure's on. All right, flip it this way. Move. Okay.
Are you still videoing? Uh -huh. Can you see what I'm doing? Uh huh. Okay. Oh, no! Two second roll! Two second roll! Two second roll! Is that funny to you? Yeah. Oh man. Well, we gotta admit, that was not my best filleting job ever in my entire life. We don't let anything go to waste. We do have a good amount of fish. So, we are gonna make some fish nuggets. It is time. I'm just heating up the oil to about medium. While we're waiting for it to uh, heat up, we're just gonna go ahead and whisk, whisk up our eggs. This is the sizzle test. Let's see if it's ready to be cooked. Take a little bit of all-purpose flour, sprinkle it right in. Oh yeah, it's hot enough to fry some fish. We're good to go. All right, here's the easy, quick process. Fish, all-purpose flour, egg wash, breadcrumb, fry it. Set it off to cool. Now this, this breadcrumb here is already pre-seasoned. Just got it from Publix. You can do your own kind of breadcrumb, whatever, however kind you like. This one's pretty good. We like this one, so it's good enough. Now on catfish and things like other, you know, gamier kind of fish, I like to use cornmeal. And uh, yeah, here's the first one. Yeah, fry it on up. Here we go. Now I just gotta repeat. Get them all going. All right, we're gonna give it a flip. Man, guys, this is looking fantastic and it smells great too. It's coming along nicely. Now, if you're from the South, I don't need to tell you how to fry fish, but this is definitely a uh, more, more of like an Italian style style way to fry the fish. It's kind of making it more like Italiano cuisine. But it comes out fan freaking tastic. It's so good. It's so simple. This is so simple. It's just like, you know, one, two, three, four, five. Wait to eat it. Let's see if we can sneak up on Dean and see if he enjoyed it. Hey, Dean. How many nuggets did you eat? Oh, uh, pretty much a lot. Pretty much a lot? Mm-hmm. <laughs> were, were they good? Mm-hmm. Yes? Look at the camera, yeah? All right, thanks, man. Hey, Dad, he liked it, yeah. But. Oh, you were eating it, yeah, buddy. You love them, huh? Well, that's my boy. He likes those whiting. Right on, man. They're super good. I just had one. I didn't. I know I didn't get the initial bite on camera, but man. Yeah, I'm going in for the. Uh, I'm going in for the sandwich. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot. Let's scrape some off. There we go. Man. Bam! Let's get this thing going. Oh yeah. yeah. Come on. Oh man. Mmm. I love fishing. I love eating. Enjoy the spoils, man. Enjoy it. Oh, it's so good. Thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Help us out. Help me and Dean out. Or if you don't want to subscribe, just give us a thumbs up. Comment below. Tell us to keep, you know, don't quit our day jobs. But anyway, we'll see. we'll see you next time. Keep it reeling, guys. I believe we have a fish on. It feels heavy. There we go. Man, the whiting are biting today, boy. That's awesome. Right on. We are gonna have a nice fish fry tonight. That's a good one. It's going in the box. Yeah, that's a decent, that's a good one. Good size.